Hey guys, so today this is my first video, but I'm gonna make a video about like what to take to school with you and what's the best thing. So if you're year six going into year seven or year eight, I don't know, um, stuff to take to school with. You. So yeah, I'm Scarlett and I'm gonna be helping you. So first, I'm gonna do is pencil case. So this is pencil case that I'm bringing. My school's making this have a clear pencil case is for you, right? But it might be different, just get a pencil case, whatever. I've got this one for £1.50. Next, first thing I'm going to put in is a calculator. Um, this is the calculator I'm getting. This is the one that most schools make you get. So, I'm getting this one. Um, the next is a pen, just get it. Get the full colour one and then got a pencil, sharpener and a rubber. You won't use these every day but usually in the make you have them because you might have like art or something. Um, next is a whiteboard pen. Get a whiteboard pen because you're going to use this every day. Same with rulers and the pen. Um, I recommend having a big one and a small one. The small one is for spares and then get a long one. And then, I don't know why this is in here, you don't need that. Next is highlighters. Get these highlighters. Don't get like, like the thick ones. Get like these narrow ones. Because they do work better. I'm just like put them on. Everything you're gonna need pencil case wise. Oh no, here you go. Yeah. So I'll show you my things with it. Next is an emergency kit. Which I already touched on this video a few times, but it kept deleting because I didn't want to take it Yeah, right, this is my kit for like stuff that you'll need so first things first i'm going to do is hair bands i'm going to get three hair bands for pe oh my god i don't like that P science especially if you're doing science experiments to be like girls or people with long hair please do up your hair well, anyway three hair bands okay claw clip you never know when you're going to need a claw clip because they're just like got a bad hair day, just kick it up, you know. My hair is quite bad. Next is a hair brush, which I need to use now. I did heat this curls my hair sprayed them, which was not a very good idea. And now it's all poofy. But it's okay. So hair brush, put in last. Alright, deodorant. I would recommend a spray one, but my spray one went out, so going roll on. Hand sanitizer, you know, all crusty. Um, next is money. I recommend just putting like three pound in. Usually, could be anything. Going shops after school, or in school events, anything. Just bring money. Um. Next is like makeup stuff, so I recommend getting like get your favourite concealer, just put a little bit in these travel cases, and then for school you can just touch up and then a mini beauty blender as well. And then you might be like, hmm, I'm not going to the toilet, it's just pulling it. No, just get a mirror, you know? Little mirrors alright. And next is lashes. Or eyebrows as well. Get a spoolie and mascara. Get mascara. That you just have sitting in your drawers that you like, but you want to wear it more often. So like, oh, I like that one. I might use that for lace or something. But then you never do. Just put it in there. Next is lips. I recommend getting two Louise. I've got. I would have four, but I've got three now. 
um yeah just get like your favorite flavor um i think i just blew into it put that in right and then peel it if you're on your peel it in your pads but i might do that in another video i might i might not right next is sprays you don't want to be smelling stinky at school so I recommend getting a spray spray or Victoria's Secret for school, but I'm only going to be doing spray sprays. So you're going to want this one. This one I had in year 7, which I use a lot of it because this is my favourite, well, these spray sprays. Or you can get these so unique ones, which I got ugh, all in my mouth, especially for year out. Year 8, I can't speak. This is kind of like a Victoria's Secret one. Oh, it's still in my mouth. Quite gross. Oh, yeah, it's just more. Um, yeah, this one is vanilla and cappuccino, which I actually love so much. So I do recommend that. Right, next is if you find sighted or you stress in school. Get another pouch. I don't recommend getting a clear one from inside the pouch. Just get like a coloured one that you can see if it's in the bottom of your bag. First, I got these anxiety, like an anxiety card with stickers on the back. It's like um, coping mechanism tools. You get these off Google, just print them off. I laminated mine. But yeah, and then things that you find calming. Um, got this little colouring thing. Look, and then I'm just going to use my highlighters because I'm not putting colouring pens or pencils to school. Um, it says blue tack. I like to put it in a little pot. Some people like to fidget with blue tack. So I'm going to give that a try. So I stress a lot in year 7. And you know it's going to be even harder. Next is a puppet. I know these are so like 2020. But you can like squeeze them like stress a lot. Because if you're stressing just in your lap whilst listening, you know, maybe, yeah. Alright, next is this. I know it's like a clay bead bracelet, but I know this is so old as well. But I actually just love fidgeting with them. You don't have to, but you need this. Um, sickness band, um, a drill and a duck. Because they calm me down, and then on my case, I go. This is a bit of a controversial one because most people will be like, Ew, why are you bring a child to school? Or like, Ew, why are you bring fidgets to school? But, you know, people stress. It's not my fault. Right, I've actually gone through quite a lot of stuff. And next is timetables you do not want to print up. No. If your teacher gives you a massive printed off sheet of a timetable, do take it, but don't use it. Or like, put it in your bag, but don't just stand there and look at your timetable. Weirdo. Um, I recommend if you're writing in your hand the lessons or getting post-it notes, because then you can literally just... This is, I know this is my eyeliner. Um, so you had history and the room was, I don't know, 0, 16. My hand went really so bad. Just write 0, 16 and then the next lesson you had to say is 3, 2, 1, I don't know, like geography. Or, yeah, just write your lessons like that. Then you can just put that in your blazer pocket or something. Um, I bought a whole pack especially for today. So that is a very good, very nice. Next is a bag. So I recommend getting a black handbag or a black backpack. I know this isn't black, it's kind of greyish, but this is navy blue, so I don't know why I'm comparing it to that. Um, hands. It's just like a really dark grey. But I got this bag from River Island, because in year eight, and um, no, in year seven, I went through like five bags. So I just got this one. 
which is nice. We can just put on your shoulder. Or you also just have it behind you like this, so when you're walking, put it behind you, and it's all right. This one's pretty big. It's just a good book it's on side. Um, but yeah. And then on the days you have PE, I can just put it my PE kit at the bottom, and then I can put I'm going to put my pencil cases and stuff in here because it goes quite deep down. But just then just get a black handbag or like a red handbag. I would say if you're going for like a pink handbag, you would like say, ew, that's so childish. Or like coloured ones. I say like grey and black are fine. But yeah. So I'm going to put everything in. I'm also going to talk about coats in seconds. So on this side I'm gonna go in with this and sticky notes. And then on this side I'm gonna go in with the party kit and then the safety kit. Bag is actually got everything I need in it because of my hairbrush and spray. Oh, that will go last. Literally. Perfect. <sighs> now, and then I recommend putting these in blazers so that on one side and then put them together and then. Or you can put it in your bag and have an empty blade as well. But I recommend at least having them in your blazer pocket. Alright, next is coats. I'm going to show you two coats. And I'm going to show you which coat to bring and which coat to not bring. So these are the two coats in question. They both look alright. I'm going to show you both of the coats on and how well they fit in my bag and then I'll show you which one I'm going to bag. Right. First I'm putting on is the white one. Um, Look how messy it is. Just going to close that. It's got all cluster in it since I moved my room around to put a vanity in. <gasps> Then it would also be a bit better. Um, it's cute. 
here. Next is also bag test. Actually, messy. Shove it in all the way down to the bottom. And that one I can clip up. This one I can. Winter. My bag does look thick, but that I can at least put it on my shoulder. And I know this coat fits in lockers, that coat does not. And then again, this bag can get behind you. Oh my god. That's a visual representation of. And then if you've got PU on that day, I recommend putting in your trainers, socks, and then some PU kit. That is. And then the PU kit that is required. And then at the bottom of your bag. And then, um, yeah. And then I wear trousers. So I'm going to be wearing trousers in the area. And then skirts i would show you how to wear up your skirt but you know literally i'm gonna actually show you for your information this is my actual school skirt um i'm just doing a skirt because why not and i'm not gonna actually get my real school skirt out because i'm not bothered right this is pretend this is your skirt. Usually, British school skirts. They are a bit short. British school skirts. Yeah, yeah. They go up to your knees. Pretend this is the actual skirt. Number one. Gonna roll it from the top which would be up here then you're gonna roll it and, and then right, put it this way oh gosh right. that's how you roll it you literally just grab the skirt and roll it a bit it is looking a bit short and then just put your blazer over it this will look like from the back if you roll it this way Another way you can do it, which I think looks quite cool. Right, again, I'm gonna put it down. This is quite hard because I'm doing it with an actual shorter skirt headband, and you're gonna fold it like so, and then you're gonna turn it around, and then you're gonna. I can't really on this skirt because it's too short. You're gonna get a little bit and lift it and turn around and you're going to tie it up with a hairband at the back and then it will be shorter than that but I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out um I don't recommend getting acrylics done because you'll just get attention. Um, yeah, I recommend having your hair down every single day, literally just, and then keep your hair on you because my hair gets messy and obscure, frizzy, disgusting all the time. So bringing a hair around with me is essential. I will be talking about earrings. Like my hoops, again you'll get told off of hoops, but you'll get told off. Big hoop. These hoops are bright, which I'm really sad about because I yeah, love them. Jewelry, oh yeah, also jewelry. Most schools don't allow jewelry, 
but I don't recommend getting ones like this. Get a bracelet like this because it's just got a little charm. Like, ignore these ones. Can't tell that, so, you know? And also, wear a necklace. If you want to wear a necklace with my necklace, I recommend getting a flat one instead of all of this one but it is chunky so you'll be able to see it under your school skirt this shirt because it's like bulky and so your tie covers it like oh, i love this watch so much it's literally stunning but it is too big so still got them together it's too big so I can't wear that one though. Okay, earrings. The earrings I'm gonna wear are these studs for. Yeah, right. And then MP just take them out and put them in your bag. But these are the earrings I recommend for Scott if you've got your ears pierced in. Um I have to have your ears pierced to look cool. Because honestly, who cares? And then I'm going to show you a simple makeup look. I'm not going to put it on, but I will show you. So first, I'm going to go in just a tinted moisturiser. I might do my makeup on my hand. So I'm going to tinted moisturiser, there is your shade. Don't go for orange foundation. Holy gosh, do not do that. I mean, whatever floats your boat, but like, really. Blend that out. Concealer under your eyes. Get a nice warm bit of that. Billabang, billabang. Oh. And then put that. And then if you want to wear blush, I say liquid is the best way to go. Just a dot on each side of your cheek. And then for the blush, I recommend getting a brush for blush. And then blend it out nicely. Ah, oh no, that's really bad. I'm doing it really nicely, but just then blend that out. Then curl your eyelashes, get this brow gel and clear mascara, and then put on your favourite mascara, and then get your P. Louise lip gloss use one of these and then that is mine for school oh my god i don't reckon powder because it just goes all tacky because yeah unless you want powder or setting spray which i don't wear either that actually looks so bad because i just like put it all on but just make your makeup look good you don't want bad makeup you know then obviously the concealer right um next i'm gonna do this gum my gum keeps coming out my packet i'm just going in the bottom of my bag um which is disgusting but i do recommend taking gum to school um, it's usually banned in most schools but if you have gum then after lunch or after break, just eat some gum, then your back will be all good. I'm actually going to package it up. Wait, this is funny. in your bag and um, yeah thanks for watching i hope that helps pack packing and if i post more videos please watch them um yeah bye guys